Welcome to Electron Online. In the previous video, we were introduced to complex exponentials, and we started with the variable, the complex variable, z equals x plus y, iy, and then we ended up with the Euler equation that showed us that e to the iy can be decomposed into the sum of the cosine of y plus i times the sine of y. But what if the complex variable is x minus iy instead of x plus iy? So then you end up with a portion of that complex variable uh, as e to the minus iy, and how do we come up with an equivalent Euler equation for that? Well, what we can do is we can assign the negative sign to the y and rewrite it as follows, e to the i times negative y. And then we can use the Euler equation, but instead of writing y in each case, we can write a negative y to see what would happen. So this can then be written as the cosine of negative y plus i times the sine of negative y. And then we realize that the cosine of a negative angle is the same as the cosine of the positive angle, and the sine of a negative angle is equal to the negative of the sine of the positive angle. So this can then be written as e to the negative i y is equal to the cosine of y minus i times the sine of y. And then we realize that the only difference between having e to the i y versus e to the negative i y is that we have a negative sign here instead of a positive sign. And everything else is the same. And that's how it's done.